All right, women's 800. Man, this one is getting more interesting as the year progresses. You could go in a bunch of different directions here. But I think a thing Mo still belongs at the top of the list. Rever is the favorite. I still have Keeley Hodgkinson, too, even though she lost to Mary Mora. I have Audrey Wilson in that third spot based on how well she ran USA's. Then Mora, fourth. Rogers, five. To say of Australia, six. Uh, Mishesha, seven. Lamott, and Nikai, and then Victoria Gould. But bad ranking. I'm going to say it's a bad ranking. Which? Which one would you switch? Would you have Mora higher up? Yes. I think Mora is going to get instead of second. Four? I think Mora okay. is going to get second. I'm going with Mo Mora, which is a great back-to-back last name combination. Mo Mora, kind of cool. Uh, and then three, Wilson. And then four, Hoskinson. I, he, Keeley just hasn't been doing it for me after coming off an incredible Olympic runner-up performance. I expected more of her, and I think – I think she might not medal, which is kind of crazy. But I have this weird feeling that Keely Hoskinson's not going to medal, get fourth. It's going to be a close fourth, but it'll be kind of wild. She was like out of this mind running last year. And now this year, I mean, she's, she's running 158s and 157s. And it's like she's winning races, but I don't know. I think Mo clearly is a different level. And I think Mora, who's coming off of beating her, and then Ajay Wilson, Wait. world indoor champion. You put those three, boom, you're fourth. She's lost one race. Let's let's calm down about the Kelly Hodgkins and panic here. She's lost once. But That's has it. she raced Mo? And no, has Mo raced her? No, I'm not picking has her. She raced Ajay Wilson. Has she raced Ajay Wilson? No, she's been racing Europe. So then, why are you talking about losing one race if she hasn't raced? A thing, Mo and Ajay Wilson. Because if she went undefeated, I think you would have had a hard time picking against her. Because what more can she do? She's just won races and she hasn't run crazy fast, but that's okay. A lot of people haven't run crazy fast this year. I just think more is good. Um, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Mo Hodgkinson Mora. I think Keeley gets it back on track. I do think yeah. though. I do think. Mora has the potential, like crazy upset potential. Like she has the biggest variance. Like I think, oh, in a way, I think she has the best chance of upsetting a thing, Mo. But there's also a scenario where she's not on the podium. Yeah, I can see that. I like that decision. Can this be another running? If Mary Mora beats a thing, Mo, mm. you gotta run all out for two minutes. No, uh, no, I'm not confident in this one at all. I just think it's an interesting dynamic because more I, you know, switched to the eight last couple of years, but back around the four and she's entered in the, you know, she won the Kenyan championships in both of them. But then you look at her positioning in that race where she beat Hodgkinson, she was a bit kind of all over the place. So I think more races, more reps, she's going to get even, even better. But if she finds herself in good position, her 400 meter speed is really, really, really good. But Mo obviously has great form of your speed as well, too. So I'm picking Mo to win, but I just think Mora adds an interesting dynamic to it. I also it's kind of interesting looking at the eight, like the year, the birth dates of like this big four up front. Yeah. Thing Mo, 2002. Hodgkinson, 2002. Mora, Mara Mora, 2000. And then Ajay Wilson, 1994. Like Ajay Wilson has now become the old one in the room. Veteran. Which is kind of the vet, you know? When for so yeah, long she, she was, was like that coming out of high school, yeah. coming out of high school, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's time goes by so quick. She's gone from the young kid to now like the old, the old one. It's kind of wild. And since she didn't compete in college, it felt like she was like older than she actually was. Yeah, when she was twenty, you're like, is she twenty five? It's like, nope, she's just been doing this for a couple of yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't count her out. Of I think this is a fascinating event, top to bottom. This is going to be one of my favorite events. Of the entire competition, this women's eight hundred. I feel like there's a because big cutoff after five. Oh, I don't think so. I think it's Mo, Mora, Wilson, Hodgkinson, and Rogers. I think after that, it's kind of. I don't know that that other group's pretty dang good too. I just. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you had to draw a line somewhere, it would be at four or five. But there's a lot of talent there who have been running really well in the Diamond League. 
circuit too. So I don't know. I think it's that's what makes it fun though. That's what makes I think there's a there's a there's a lot of people who can win bronze, I think. 